In this video, I would like to talk about the idea of approaching Positron from VS Code for using it with R. And the user story that motivates this, this talk is the following. As someone working with R and used to VS Code, I want to know how to transition to Positron smoothly so that I can more easily collaborate with colleagues coming from our studio. And the same would apply if you are used to working with our studio and would want to, co uh, to collaborate with uh, colleagues working with VS Code. In, in any case, because Positron is a polyglot IDE with great support for R, it turns out to be a great meeting point for both coming from, from both, both sides. Um, however, of course, uh, although there are some similarities between Positron and VS Code and some similarities between uh, VS Code and our studio, there is of course some um, remaining differences and those differences may cause some friction and may slow you down. So I anticipate that many of you uh, could be kind of thinking about it and still not, not taking the, uh, it, the step, right? So here the idea is to reduce that pain um, and to stay productive from the comfort of <coughs> the IDE that you more uh, you feel more comfortable with, right? So in this specific uh, talk, I'm going to be focusing on the scenario where you are an expert VS Code user, and uh, but uh, not a, an R Studio user. And that's very uh, much the case for people who may be coming from different languages and not R and are um, you know, expert programmers in other languages, uh, very used to working with VS Code, and now joining a team that is using R. So you would see that your um, Fellow colleagues working with R have uh, a lot of familiarity with R Studio, and they know what to expect from an IDE that supports R. But because you don't have specific experience with R, uh, you may not know if some of the pains that you're experiencing uh, is, you know, are, are due to something that is missing in your IDE or uh, just the way it has to be. So. Uh, Positron already comes with a lot of the things that our users expect. So uh, that includes uh, tools for data science, a, a debugger, and tools for software development. From uh, within the tools for data science, and I'm going to show that uh, in a minute uh, in the IDE itself, you know, you have a persistent R console, the ability to send code from an R script to that console, panels to explore interactively data and plots, support for Quarto, and, and for software development, we have specific keyword shortcuts that um, allow you to develop our packages with uh, DevTools very smoothly, support for Shiny and, and testing. Um, those coming from our studio um, know, um, or most likely know about uh, a number of shortcuts um, that allow you to work uh, both interactively and, and for package development, for example. Um, and I'm going to show them as, as I speak uh, to, the, uh, to the tool, but here uh, is a little bit of a glimpse of what they are. So you, you would not want to send code to their console, you would want to restart your R session, you would want to assign with the idiomatic way of doing it in R, which is a little arrow uh, to insert the pipe, uh, and then with a the keyboard shortcut, launch some of the activities that are more common in our package development. So VS Code uh, does not come with any of that, of course, because um, that's the beauty of it. VS Code. It's very lean and then it's very extensible. But then you know you need to know which extensions could uh, give you at least the basic support that you need and which shortcuts to uh, set up so that your experience from, v from VS Code uh, approximates that of Positron and that of our studio. Uh, and then you know after a little practice, you may be uh, tempted to try it out. So here I pasted, um, or I typed a bunch of, uh, well, not, not that very many, really. So only a few <laughs> extensions that uh, give you uh, the basics, but this would take you there to say 80%, right? Uh, it's not everything, but also it's very minimal. So the disruption on your current setup is, is minimal too. So here I'm, I'm gonna be adding support for R um, and it comes with a little package that you need to install too. This is support for the debugger, for testing, for Shiny, and for Quarto. Um, 
So the debugger also needs a package and one way to do it too would be from the command prompt. So you can open the command prompt with control shift P and, and just run that, just paste that there and run it. And then as for the keyboard shortcuts, uh, if you come from VS Code, you may be already pretty familiar with a file like this JSON um, file uh, where you set up your key bindings. Uh, and here I have added the ones that uh, are um, fundamental, no? something to create an R console, um, something to assign, to create it, to uh, insert the pipe and for package development. Of course, you know, you'll eventually develop a flavor for other things you want to um, to, to turn it into keyboard shortcuts, but with this, at least, you can get started. So let's see what this looks like in the IDE itself. So here I am in a folder called demo, which is in our package, so I can I can do um, the things that I can do interactively plus things that I can do within our package. So let's, let's launch Positrum here and see what it looks like. Uh, here I have a little R function uh, that um, is called hi, and it will print uh, my name if I give it my name and say hello name or hello me. <laughs> um, or it would print hello hello world if I do nothing. Um, so I can, I can um, step here in line one and press control enter, and that would send code to the console. Notice that there is a dedicated tab for console, which is not the case for VS Code. Um, and that keyboard shortcut is already uh, comes already with with Positron. That's something that we'll need to set up in um, VS Code. Also, see that um, the function is defined here, and uh, I could also do other things. For example, let's do um, let's open the command palette with Shift Control P. Uh, so that is an experience similar to what you have in VS Code too. And all all the looks are obviously similar because it's based on VS Code, it's kind of an extended, right? So here I'm gonna, I can say a new file and, uh, well, in this case, I, I've used this before, so it's at the top of my list, a new R file. It will create a .r file and I can say x, say um, with all and minus, I insert the assignment and I can say empty cars, which is a data set that comes with R and shift control enter would, um, you know, run that line and create the, the X object here in the data panel. Uh, there is a better way to see that object. Uh, if I say X shift control M to insert the pipe and then um, view with capital V and press control enter, that would give me this, this viewer um, with histogram for uh, each variable, each numeric variable to show the distribution of it, the ability to sort the variables in different in different ways. Um, so pretty uh, uh, great for uh, interactive use of R. Um, going back to our our file here, let's close that one there. Um, I could say plot two uh, as, and plot one two three and one two three in the x and y axis. Uh, and you see there is a panel dedicated for plots too. So for interactive use, you have uh, the console that you expect, uh, and you have you know, a couple of panels that are great for interactive um, data science. And then for package development, um, first let me restart um, to show how, how X goes away. Shift Control Zero uh, is a common shortcut in our studio and is available if you use enable the keyboard shortcuts for our studio in uh, Positron. Um, so that would restart your R session. You see here, you know, R restarted. And I'm going to press Ctrl L to clear that up. And now my X variable is gone. For package development, uh, we, the way we load code, and I can um, probably open this other file here, is with uh, Shift Control L runs the tools load all um, and that, that works fine. It's already included in Positron. Shift Control T um, runs the tool test um, in the console, but you also have a bigger here, so you can run your tests uh, with this um, graphical user interface uh, that will run in a dedicated panel down here, and that is something that we're going to be setting up in. Um, we want to set that up also in, in VS Code. And from the console too, you can debug a function um, directly from there. I'm going to say debug once in R allows you to debug any function that you pass it, any symbol there. Um, 
and uh, the back one's high, but not one. Oh, I, I misspelled the back ones. There you go. Hi, and there we go. Okay, so now I can say hi, and that function uh, will be opened in debugger mode, uh, and I can use the interactive. Um, graphical user interface here to kind of step in the function now name has been defined so i can see it's word and i can type name in the console and and get word there and then you can stop it from the graphical user interface too all right so that is a positron it has everything that an art user expects uh, the ability to interact with R right away. The console is there, the panels are there, and tools for R package development uh, and uh, other other types of development too. There is Quarto, there is Shiny. Let's close this and go to VS Code. So similar here, but now let's do code. Uh, let's try first do an analysis of what we see to compare Positron. So you, you see, oh, in this case, because I ran this before, I have a, an interactive R console open, but uh, uh, but the if I if I uh, open a terminal with Shift Control uh, tilde, um, you see that in this group of, of panels we don't have a persistent uh, R terminal. When we um, press, for example, we step in line one as we did before, Control Enter would send that code to the terminal and turn that terminal into an R terminal. Uh, in the typical way where you know you are standing in a terminal and then press R and that turns into a, an R terminal, right? So let's quit with Q. I'm going to close this terminal to keep the one that I opened from here. Uh, and now uh, let's do what we did before too. Um, my file. Um, so here, if I say new file, um, I think there's going to be a, a second step where I can choose uh, which file it is. What's it? Um, or I can just say R document, right? So if I say R document, there you go. That that would be the the way the way to call the extension uh, for R that uh, opens that new R file. So here what we did is again x alt minus to uh, assign empty cars, control enter to run, x and shift control m to pipe and view. So now the viewer the viewer experience is going to be a little different. Uh, we do get it here in a little panel, but we don't have the ability to uh, see the distribution of each variable or to sort it. Uh, if you want something similar to that, uh, maybe what you could do is uh, with the DT package uh, call that a table, which will create um, something kind of closer to um, at least, you know, you can sort and uh, you can filter for things. Um, we can restart with shift control zero. Um, and uh, and then start using this as um, an R package. Let's press Shift Control L to load all. Now my function hi should be um, should be loaded. Uh, and and yes, hello world. It replies hi. Say Mauro. And says hello Mauro. So uh, what else can we do? As we said, as we showed before, Shift Control T uh, runs the test in the console, but also we have the beaker. So same as before, uh, we now have the ability to run tests from a graphical user interface and in a dedicated panel right here. Uh, and the debugger experience uh, is a little different from the terminal. Um, if I go to my interactive art terminal here, um, let's close few things here let's stay in this first terminal clear it up shift control c to restart clear it up again with control l and now let me uh try what i tried before debug once high so that uh well, first i need to do a dev, um, dev tools load all with shift control l and now it will work. So now if I run high, you see that I do enter the debugger mode, but the basic one that comes with R, so there is no GUI yet. And uh, and I can still step inside with N as a keyword. Um, and after doing it two times, now name should be defined in the debugger environment. And I can quit, in this case, with capital Q. But that's not how you would like to do it. Um, 
there is an extension that I um, showed in the file that I'm gonna um, um, show in a minute too that uh, basically adds support for the button behind behind this button here so if you're standing in our file um, and you want to debug it right so you can click here and run and debug so that will um, launch the debug console so now um, the story is different so here in the console I can do this now if I do here debug once hi so now the experience will be what I expect so that will open my um, uh, debugger and after a couple of times I can see how name has been defined um, and it contains world right uh, and you can stop it from here okay so the extensions uh, which are they so shift control x opens the extension tab um, you can use uh, install but I think even if you don't have that um, this this little drop down menu allows you to see easily what you have so i'm gonna, gonna go past the copilot ones because those are not relevant to this talk but here you can see the ones that uh, i installed through uh, the code that i showed you before which you can run directly on the terminal quarto um shiny quarto uh, and then this is the main one our support uh, and something for a, a debugger uh, plus the package that I showed you before. And to test, uh, it's not just one, it's three. I mean, it's one uh, that um, implements the debugger behind this button, um, which is, I think, this one. Uh, and then you need a, an adapter and something specific for R. Uh, those come um, you know, with everything you need to then uh, run the run tests. Um, Okay, I think that is all I wanted to talk about. Let's go back to the notes. Um, ah, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, let's go to that. So if I uh, type uh, key, so, I mean keyboard shortcuts for VS Code users. I'm assuming that you may be already familiar with this file, but just in case, you know, if you type open keyboard shortcuts JSON, uh, it will drop you in the file that you want to uh, edit. So in this case, uh, here I have only the content that I show in that file, uh, right, to implement the shortcuts that I showed and um, the extensions uh, that you can just copy from here, paste in the, in the terminal and that will install them or you can find them from, uh, from here. Thank you very much. I hope this reduces the friction and allows you to have a taste for Positron before you even try.